let's have a bit of fun. So I've got 300 volts on the outputs here. Got a 400 volt um, capacitor, so hopefully it shouldn't blow up. Let's charge it up. Okay, it's nicely charged. That made quite a big pop. So we're back looking at uh, high voltage. So I'm still playing with these LED filaments. I salvaged these from these Philips bulbs that were going wrong. Pretty much all of them failed. So it has been quite some time since the last video. What's been going on? Well, I've been spending time packaging up the ESP32 Rainbow. That's now in transit over to Mouser and should be being shipped out soon. I've got a new project on the uh, boil with PCB weight. They're currently assembling it. Hopefully that will arrive soon. It's another minimalist ESP32 S3 board. So looking forward to that arriving and we'll do a great video on that and talk through it. It's going to be a fun project. But back to the main video. So I've been playing with uh, one of these high voltage boards and I'm getting the LEDs to light up. And it does work reasonably well. So we're getting currently around 93 volts out. So if we turn this up and increase the voltage, you can see our filaments do get brighter. Now, there's a bit of flashing coming quite soon. So if I turn this up more, there's a certain point where the system seems to become unstable. So if you are epileptic or affected by flashing lights, probably look away now. So you can see we're um, getting some quite bad flashing. It doesn't always show up on the camera, it depends on the camera frame rate. But um, this is flashing quite badly. Um, now as we increase the voltage, the, um, the appearance of the flashing does decrease, but you can see the camera is definitely picking it up. Now if I switch over to the oscilloscope, then you can see our problem quite clearly. So if you look at the oscilloscope, we're currently on... Um, what are we on? 10 volts per division. So we have 10, 20, about 22 or 23 volts of, um, of ripple. So not ideal, and that's why we're seeing this um, this flashing going on. Now I do think maybe um, some capacitors on the output. So I have got these um, 400 volt 150 microfad capacitors. So let's just try sticking one of these across the um, the output voltage. Just make sure we get it the right way round. Don't want to blow up a capacitor in our hands. So if anything it's actually got worse. Um, I can see on the oscilloscope it is smoothing it out quite a bit but I'm still seeing around um, 10 volts of ripple. So not ideal. I could add a lot more capacitance. I have a whole bag of these but um, feels slightly unnecessary. Uh, now one thing I have been wondering is the uh, the current is pretty low, so it's not sort of not drawing much current. Well, I have read that these boards can be quite unstable on low current. So if we just um, turn the voltage up even more, try and get a reasonable current flowing through. Um, so that's 100 milliamps now, 120. So I can see on the oscilloscope we're still getting around um, it's now just under 20 volts of ripple. So it's not really ideal and you can see on the camera it's really picking up that ripple quite badly. Um, to the human eye it kind of looks okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out this board. I've got these quite chunky um, resistors so I'm going to try wiring these up and see how the board performs when it's got a, a decent load on it. So give me one moment I'll do that now. Okay so I've got these two resistors in series, so that's um, 200R, so that'll be 400 ohms in series. So let's plug this in and see how well this works. So we've got uh, 200 milliamps at 80 volts, and if you look at the oscilloscope, we have a ripple of around, well it's around 2 volts but it's jumping around quite a bit. So let's ramp up the voltage. It's 
So we're going up, let's go up to 100 volts. Well, our ripple's really going a bit nuts now. So let's get up to 100. It's 100 volts. And we've got, well, it's like 20 volts peak to peak. Or is that 40 volts peak to peak? Yeah, 35 volts peak to peak according to the oscilloscope. Uh, ripple, so that's not great. Um, let's see how far we can go up. Not sure when my power supply will stop providing um, voltage, but we should be able to get up quite a high voltage. So let's see, 150. There's lots of interesting sounds coming out of the um, device. Let me see if you can hear that. I'll move the microphone a bit closer interesting sounds so it's quite interesting sounds coming out of this um it does sound like it's about to go pop let's see if we can get to 200. okay 200 we've maxed out our um voltmeter which goes to 200. um these are actually getting quite warm oh and our power supply has decided to stop providing power um but there was quite a high ripple on that. So I think um, my conclusion is possibly I can't really use these modules for powering my LEDs. They're not really going to work. So what I've done is I've ordered some alternatives. So I have this thing here. It looks a bit more old school. It's all surface mount components. Well, let's try plugging this in and see how well this works. Uh, we'll try it with the LEDs first. Why not? See what happens. So I've wired our new board up. Um, it's currently only on 78 volts. So let's uh, let's ramp the voltage up, and I'm recording on the oscilloscope what's happening as well. So if we go up, so I'm looking on the oscilloscope. This is actually working really nicely. So up to uh, 100 volts. Um, the only kind of slight downside with this board is it is pretty limited on current output. So that's me turned it up to the maximum we're getting about 0.06 amps but the LEDs are pretty bright got 102 volts and we've got almost no ripple so let's turn this really down so yeah I mean we're getting about half a volt of ripple on the output so that's pretty impressive so I think for testing LEDs or well, certainly these high voltage ones anyway feels like this board might be a slightly safer alternative to uh, to this board which uh, seems to have a lot of ripple and also makes interesting sounds when you turn the voltage up and draw a high current so this is working quite nicely i'm quite pleased with these boards um yeah great so what shall i do with these leds then um I do have a project on the boil, so keep an eye out for that. Um, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. So, a bit of bonus content. Um, I've got this plugged in. Uh, coming into this, we've got our 23, 24 volts. Um, on the output, there are actually three outputs. So in the middle one, if we go from there to there, this is what I've been using. Got 383 volts. I've turned this up to number 11. If we look at these two, we've got 404 volts. So our total available voltage, 787 volts. I think that definitely qualifies as high voltage. I'm going to turn this off now, but let's think what we could do with that.